I look a hot mess. Hello, my nation, my friends, families, and haters. It is I, your fearless, broken ankled leader. A lot of people have been wondering and making assumptions, which a lot of people do nowadays, about how and why my ankles both are broken or the tibia fibula, if you want me to use the doctor's quotes. Well, the story I wanted to hold off on, so I'm going to hold off on the full story for a future story time after I recover fully and able to walk. But I wanted to tell you the gist, the logistics of the situation and what took place that resulted in my ankles, tibula fibula, to be broken. So. I've known a young lady, messed around with a young lady, for nine years. Not one year, or two years, or three years, or four years, or five years, or six years, or seven. Nine years I knew this young lady. And me and the young lady have an on and off. I don't know what you call it, but we have an on and off. Sometimes we're on, sometimes we're off. Now, the young lady usually has a bad attitude, and usually, and usually me and her gets into a lot of fights and arguments. That's why we are barely ever on on the entire time. She gets an attitude, or I get an attitude, and we stop talking for a while. So I was at this young lady's home. The young lady's boyfriend is an open relationship. He has a baby mother in which he sees, and she sees me, okay? This has took place for the almost entirety of their relationship. She would see me, I would see her, and he would know about it. He would know about it because it wasn't the first time that he caught us or saw us doing something. To name a couple of the times where he would see us doing something, very like three years ago when she stayed in some nice lofts he walked in on me going down uh, <clears throat> so he saw me in act with her before we never got into an argument we never got in a fight me and the young man never barely even speak to each other he knows what go on because he has a baby mother in which he does extracurricular activities with and she knows about it and he knows about me and her. Another situation in which he caught us doing something is she likes having phone sex. So one time me and her was having phone sex at the young man's job. She was sitting in the parking lot and we were having phone sex. Hey, you guys want to know what happened, right? So I'm going to tell you what happened. And when we were having phone sex, he caught us just walked up on the car and called us. Another time, me and her was having an argument and she was screaming at me, DeAndre, if you want me to be your wife, if you want me to be your wife, and he walked up on the car and called us. Another time, recently, she got me some fried chicken, some KFC, a box of chicken, a bag of chicken. It was some good ass chicken too, boy. It wasn't me paying for it because KFC prices is outrageous. So I appreciated her getting me that bag and box of chicken. So he saw it. She used actually his credit card to get me the chicken. And when he confronted her about it, there. I see on my credit card that you got some KFC chicken, yet there's no chicken in the house. She told him point blank period, I got the chicken for DeAndre, what the F are you going to do about it? She tells him this. And you know what he did about it? Nothing. Want to know why? Because he gives thousands of dollars to his baby mother and have extracurricular activities with his baby mother. They are in an open relationship. Me and this young lady on and off has messed around for nine years. Well not the full nine years, seven years, six years. You understand? These are things that I've already discussed on my live streams multiples of times. If you are a frequent watcher of my Sigas Live comedy shows on my main channel or on my second channel, you would know these stories. 
But the majority of you, my loyal and unloyal friends, don't watch the majority of my live stream. So the reason why I broke my ankles is quite simple. Me and the young lady, ha <laughs> ha, he came home. And I'm not a person that just wants, I, I don't want him to, look, he knows about it. It's one thing about somebody knowing about it. It's one thing about putting it in someone's face. You know what I'm saying? He already saw me and her do things multiple times, but still, I just didn't want him, I just didn't want to talk to him, okay? I just didn't want to talk to him. I told you not to jump in the balcony. Forgot to do my superhero workout regime. Get up for someone sees you right now. I can't get up. My Stop ankles. Stop acting right now. These in the house. I'm not acting. And it was you. So I've been watching Avengers Endgame multiple times, and I've uh, when I was younger, I used to jump off of balconies and banisters and off stairs and multiples of times. So I was drinking that night, and me and the young lady was discussing if I could jump off the balcony. And she was like, "You can't do that." I'm like, "Dear, I'm a superhero. I could jump off the damn balcony." You know what I'm saying? And she's like, "You can't do that." So the young man came home while me and her was ha. <laughs> And I decided to jump off the balcony. When I say jump off the balcony, that don't mean I just got on the balcony and jumped off the balcony. No, I got on the balcony, shimmied down as low as I could go, looked down, it didn't look that far, released, and fell down wrong on my ankles. I put too much force. And that's why my ankles broke. My tibia fibula. So if I was a scammer, right, and if I was, if all I wanted was people's money, right, wouldn't it have been really, really easy for me to lie about the incident? Say that I fell down some stairs or tripped or broke my ankles a different way. I didn't have to say this. I didn't have to tell you guys I was with a young lady. You think that paints me in such a great light? It doesn't paint me in a great light, even though B and the young lady has had this on and off thing for years and he has known about it for years. It doesn't matter. It's still, people will still think certain types of things. So if I was such a liar and if all I wanted was people's money, why haven't I made a GoFundMe and I still refuse to make a GoFundMe? I don't want any GoFundMe even though right now I am very close to being homeless. Right now I have no money for my bills and I am in a very tough position. If I was such a liar and all I wanted was people's money, don't you think it would have been easy for me to say I hurt myself in a different way? I could have cut out the part of the EMTs coming and me telling them how I hurt myself and then would have said anything. I, I mean, it's, it would have been very easy for me to do that if I wanted in people's money and if I was just a liar. And then all I had to do was make a GoFundMe saying that I hurt myself tripping or I hurt myself. You know, it's, it's very easy for someone to do that. Instead, I told you I was at a young lady's house that I've known for years. Instead, I've told you that the young lady's on and off boyfriend, open relationship boyfriend, what came home, and I decided to jump off the balcony and broke my tibia and fibula. I've been very honest my entire career upon YouTube, aside from certain situations in which I forgot something I said six or seven years ago, and people will look it up and then try to cast me in bad light. But the fact I'm trying to say is, it's my fault. I've never said it wasn't my fault that I hurt myself. I never said it, was my, uh, it wasn't my fault. I've always put the blame on myself. No one else. I've always said it was my fault. No one else. I've always said that it's my situation and if anyone cares to help, I would appreciate it. But I will not be making a GoFundMe because there is a specific time in the future I wish to make a GoFundMe and that is not this time. So if anyone wishes to donate to me, watch a future live stream I do. If anyone wishes to care about me in this bad situation I am, watch a future live stream and I would appreciate anyone caring about me because no one has to care about me. I may lose my legs, God forbid, I'm not going to let that happen, but the fact still remains. I will not be making a GoFundMe. And I do not want anyone making a me a GoFundMe. So if you've been wondering how I broke my ankles, that's how I broke my ankles. A very ignorant decision 
I made because I've watched too much Avengers Endgame was drinking. And I just didn't want to talk to the young. I just don't want to talk to him. I mean, why would I want? Just because he knows what we do doesn't mean I, I, oh, hey, bro, how you doing? Yeah, I was just in the, you know what we will. And I just, just, I don't want to do that. So, uh, he already called us multiple times. I just didn't want to do You know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to. And for people to say, oh, you just scared to get your ass with guys. You see how, on my previous videos, I had to delete because of YouTube. You've seen how many times I've gotten confrontations. Have I ever ran from a confrontation? Have you ever seen me run from a confrontation? Not ever. I've never ever ran from a confrontation. Now, when people were trying to jump me, I mean, I backed up. Like, you hit me, bro. It's going to be a problem. I backed up because I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to sit there and try to fight two people at once. But you, you think I'm really scared of anybody? I got two broken ankles right now. You still think I'll be scared of anybody? I'm not scared of nobody. For what? They whip my ass, okay. They just get a brick and smash it over the head. I'm just saying what I would do in that situation. Not to go out and do those things. You understand? So, people that care about me may lose my ankles or may lose my legs. I really appreciate you. People that care about me being homeless, I really appreciate you. But I haven't been getting donations. A few here and there, but it's not, you know what I'm saying, substantial to help me not be homeless. I've already hit up people for disability. I've already hit up people for social security. I've already hit these people up. It's a process, guys. You just don't get accepted as soon as you call them. You don't get accepted. You got to go down to the offices. You got to go down seeing people. You got to go down there interacting with people. And guess what? I can't get downstairs by myself. Guess what? There is no service that would pick me up and take me down and up the stairs. Currently, with my broken ankles, I'm not going to be able to have the surgery on time like I expected to this Friday. Want to know why? Because the surgery, uh, the, uh, the site where we're going to have the surgery is all the way in Galveston. I have no transportation to get to Galveston. I was using my emergency insurance to get a, 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 a service, a program that will take me only to medical visits in Houston, Texas. Not medical in Galveston or League City or Dallas or San Antonio. So right now I have to make multiple calls to multiple different programs and hope that a program will be able to take me to Galveston because I'm not able to get down the stairs by myself. I'm not able to get up the stairs by myself. If I put any weight on my ankles, it can mean you already know. So I can't do that. I've always said it was my fault. I've never not once said it's not my fault. It's my fault. People saying, oh, this should be the time that these six should be held accountable and do the right thing. When have I never held myself accountable? I've always said what's my fault. I've always said what I should have done. I've always said what I needed to do. Always. This is not something... That, that I, the first time I've ever said it was my fault. I've multiple times I said 90% of the problems in my life is my fault. But the, po the point is 90% of the people that are subscribed to me don't watch every video. So when they miss out on a video of me saying that things, certain things are my fault, they have an assumption that I'm always saying this is someone else's fault. They have an assumption that I'm blaming everyone else and I'm not taking accountability. When I've always taken accountability for what I did. Always. And people have a tendency to victim blame. If you make any mistake in life, they expect you not to make a mistake. My, my mistake was thinking that I was still young like I was and jumping off a balcony when I'm obviously fatter and older and my bones are weaker because of me not taking care of myself by not working out and smoking like a chimney. Cigars. As a result, my bones are weaker. So I jumped off the damn balcony, shimmied down and jumped off the balcony and broken my tibula and fibula with a, a, a possibility that I could lose my legs by amputation. God forbid, that's not going to happen. But I am in the worst position of my life. I am in a terrible position where anything terrible can happen and many terrible things has already happened. I don't not know how am I going to get out of this situation. I don't know if anyone would care to help me get out of this situation. I'm just praying that after the years of my service on YouTube, replying to comments. Also, I can't reply to your comments. It takes a lot to, uh, for me to edit videos, render videos, upload videos. I can't just sit here in this position with my legs like this. 
I can't do it. So it's very hard for me. That's why I'm not replying to many of your comments. But trust and believe, once I'm able to, I will reply to all of your comments in a timely, fashionable manner. But uh, this is my rock bottom. Oh, rock bottom. This is my rock bottom. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I have to spend most of my time laying in bed staring at a wall because I don't have a television nor cable here. I have no money and soon my life is going to be cut out. My internet going to be cut out and so and my computer looks like it's going to be going out soon as well. I would need thousands of dollars for me to be able to survive the oncoming months where I have to go to physical therapy where I need to be in the bed after my surgeries and I'm not making GoFundMe's I'm not going to do it because there was a time I said I was going to make a GoFundMe and that is not this time right now therefore I hope all of you guys remember this period when people lie on my name in the future but when people say oh it's karma because he was messing with someone's no 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 remember this quite well the young man knew about us. He always known about us. She tells him about us. He tells her about his things too. And it's an open relationship. So don't, don't put that lie on my name. It would be karma if he didn't know about us. Okay? So I hope you guys remember. In the future when people start lying on my name. Because you know that's what they do in 2018, 2019. People just lie. They just lie on people's names and say, Exposed. But you know how people play games in 2018 and 2019. You know how people lie. They cut, and they splice, and they mix things together, and they try to paint people that they dislike in a dishonorable light, trying to gain support to ruin other people's lives. And before that happens, I'm going to nip it in the bud right now with my broken tibula and fibula. Don't know how I'm going to get the operation, because it's in Galveston and I have no one to help me up and down the stairs. Right now I'm in a very bad position. Very bad position. And God forbid I could lose my legs. And another thing when people are like, oh, he going to keep smoking. It's time to change these bad habits. Didn't you see in the video I broke my cigars? I'm, you really think I'm going to smoke and I could lose my legs as a result? I, smoking means more to me than walking with my tits. Come on, see, this is what I'm talking about. I just had to make this video explaining for you all. I love you all. I might be homeless during this time, but I ain't making no GoFundMe. Thank you all. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I know people's gonna still lie on my name. So remember, when they start lying, remember, I've already done a video about it. So thank you all. Love you all care for you all. Pray my legs don't get taken.